James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today's August 12th, 2022, 7 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world, folks. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. We've had several earthquakes impact the Cascadia subduction zone. And we'll take a look at those on the USGS. Uh, there are some that are not being reported on the USGS, but we're going to pick those up. No worries. So we see three sizable quakes here on what's called the Juan de Foucault plate. I'll explain in a second. A 3-1, a 3-9, not a 4, but a 3-9, and another 3-9. But what's happening in this area here is the Pacific plate, this huge plate here, is forcing the Juan de Foucault plate, this small plate here, under the North American plate, which is pushing magma to the surface. Let me show you what I mean. Why is everyone worried? Why should you be worried? Because of this subduction that's occurring. Well, as you can see, the Juan de Foucault plate is being pushed under the North American plate here, and the Cascades and the Olympic Mountains are both volcanic ridges. So what we have here is magma being pushed up, and you can see they actually show the magma being pushed up by the subduction of the Juan de Foucault plate under the North American plate, pushing it up in the Cascades, the Snake River, Caldera, Yellowstone, perhaps all the way down through California and further. Now, I'm trying to put this all together, but this is another incident that was not reported by the USGS, a 3-2. It's north of the border, and for whatever reason, Canada is one of the few countries that does not share their earthquake information very readily. Uh, there was another large one here, really not part of what we're discussing, a 3-6. But for Canada, all, all in all, today was a very busy day. The last earthquake being over here in Quebec, circled in purple, the largest being right here on the Cascadia subduction zone that we're all worried about to some level. Now, you don't see the quake north here, but what I did want to point out is that we have two additional quakes here, right where everything's breaking apart or sliding under a subducting, right? Subducting. Jumping over to volcanosandearthquakes.com, we get a much better picture of what is going on. As we zoom in, there's actually two quakes here, as we note. Uh, we can see the three quakes here. Two of them called out as a 3-9, as you see. And then the other one that's actually typically not reported as much on this volcanoandearthquakes.com. But uh, in this instance, it is right there on that plate boundary, which is the red lines. A lot of people call this the San Andreas Fault. That would be wrong. This is the North American plate boundary and the Pacific plate boundary. There's actually a hole in it right there where it does not meet. Now, I'd say that's pretty active. Four decent-sized quakes. Let's take a look at the two three nines here. A three nine, 14 hours ago. And let's see here, 10.7 tons of TNT. Let's see if anyone else reported it. Three nine, three nine, three nine. And the Europeans, the USGS, and Raspberry Shake, who just follow whatever actually the... USGS says, uh, and then all at the default, 10 kilometers. No, it's not a dumb. It's a default, Dumbo. Now to the other 3.9 that was 49 minutes ago. As you can see, uh, moved down here, 10.7 uh, tons of TNT. And it's only being reported by the USGS, period, right now, guys. That is it. Wow. Now, I don't no, if this is related or not, but we are swarming as well down here just south of Lake Tahoe. Uh, it looks like we have about 24 earthquakes all in this little area. With this area here being Mammoth Lakes and the Long Valley Caldera and Mammoth uh, Mountain and everything you see being magma flow and scorched earth. God bless you and yours, folks. Share and subscribe. Always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World.